Nick Funderburg new at noon. Another local school is seeing more security after a new threat. The latest is Dalton High School following the deadly shooting in Florida last week. News Channel 9's Brandon Evans is live at Dalton High School where they're trying to figure out who left a threatening note on a classroom floor. So Brandon, do they have any leads this afternoon? Well, no, Greg, they haven't found out who wrote that threatening note, which is why you're continuing to see an increased police presence here at Dalton High School, as well as all nine Dalton City schools, although it was here where they found that threatening note. It's scary. Karina Ayala is a junior at Dalton High, where all these police signal change from an ordinary day. It's nice that they're all coming to school to save us. Principal Bartu says they might not have found out about the threat had three students not found the note and turned it in. I can't tell you how proud I am of them. Bartu says they're now helping detectives try and ID the person who wrote it. We can look at student work. Um, we can uh, talk with students themselves. Ayala says it could be someone simply playing a very bad joke. I just think it's kids joking around. I don't know. It's pretty sad. But Bartu says this is no laughing matter, and if it is a student, they will be punished. Hey. They could possibly uh, face uh, suspension from school to a tribunal to um, expulsion. Now, Principal Bartu also tells me they have seen a drop off in attendance today, and that's despite all the extra security that is here, which means some parents still deciding to keep their kids at home. Now, as far as that increased security goes, well, it could continue. That is until they find out who wrote that threatening note. Reporting here in Dalton, I'm Brandon Evans for News Channel 9 Midday. All right, Brandon, thanks so much. And this is just one of the many threats law enforcement agencies across our viewing area have dealt with in the recent days. Last week, Ringgold High School, or Ringgold Police rather, charged a high school student for threatening a coach. Then, Bradley County deputies arrested three students for hoax threats. Now, this week, Catoosa County deputies charged two students for similar incidents. And Hamilton County deputies also took some juvenile students into custody this week as well. Now, with all the recent threats against schools in our area. Bradley County education leaders will meet today to discuss how to keep its schools safer. According to Director of Schools Linda Cash, the Board of Education will hold a special meeting over school safety. Now that meeting is set for later this afternoon and is closed to the public, but our cameras will be there and we will bring you the conversation that comes out of that meeting.